Hi, and welcome to Castle Lessons, Series 1, Episode 2. In the last lesson, we learned about Castle and set up our Castle account so that we can start creating Castle decks. In this lesson, we'll start learning about how Castle decks work by building a small, custom golf course game. We need to make a new Castle deck that we can build our golf course inside of. From Castle's Create tab, select New Deck on the top right. This will open a menu which will let you decide which kit you'd like to start with, or if you'd like to start with an empty Castle deck. Let's pick the golf course kit, which has a blue background, and you should be able to find it somewhere in the list. After tapping on the golf course kit, you'll find yourself in Castle's deck editor. You'll see a default golf course design filling most of your screen. You can change the golf course's layout just by dragging. Try dragging some of the green grass turf blocks, and then pressing the play button on the top of the screen. Oops. I won. Back in the editor, when you tap on something, some controls will appear that let you edit the scene. The one that's selected by default is the Move tool, which lets you drag things around. You can select the Scale and Rotate tool below it to make the map all slanty and weird, or to stretch the grass blocks. Feel free to experiment with different designs and see how it makes winning easier or more of a challenge. Let's try editing the golf ball blueprint to turn it into something bigger. Or what about juicier? I'm going to turn mine into a watermelon, and you can follow along with my steps with any fruit you'd like. But before I tell you how to change things in the card, I'll have to tell you what they actually are. Each draggable thing in the card is what is called an actor. All cards that do things have actors in them, and actors can be turned into almost anything. Actors can be grass tiles like the ones you're looking at, golf balls, clouds, or even cars, characters, and buildings. You don't have to only drag things that are already in the card, you can add new things to the card as well. The white bar at the top of the editor has a list of all of the actor blueprints, which are available to use. Blueprints are the design schematics that control how each actor works. If you want to change how an actor looks, moves, or behaves, you'll have to edit its blueprint. To start modifying an actor blueprint, you just have to select it at the top of the screen and then tap the Edit Blueprint button that appears. Tapping Edit will open the Blueprint Inspector, which will show you all of the details about how actors based on the blueprint work. The inspector has a lot of controls and settings, and you'll learn about all or most of them throughout the Castle Academy lessons. But we'll start really simple, so you can ignore all of the other stuff. To edit our golf ball's artwork, you can tap the art frame under the artwork section. Tap the second art frame in this blueprint. Here, I'm pointing to it now. Got it? Welcome to the art tool. This is where all of the artwork in Castle gets composed. First, let's quickly introduce you to the basics of the art tool. In the middle of the screen is the art canvas and the artwork that's been drawn. You can modify the artwork by just drawing on top of it or using any of the other tools that are in the toolbar on the left-hand side of the art editor. The tools there allow you to draw, replace colors in the artwork with the fill tool, move the artwork around the canvas, erase parts of the drawing, and select colors from the drawing to use. When you have certain tools selected, the right-hand side of the screen has another set of sub-tools that allows you to do things like draw specific shapes or enable other special behaviors for the tool to help you edit the art quickly and easily. On the bottom of the art editor is a sheet which says layers. If you've ever used another art program, you're probably familiar with this idea. But basically, it just means that you can stack up different parts of a drawing that can be edited separately from one another. So if you edit the layer titled Shapes 2, the Shapes 1 layer will stay the same below the Shapes 2 layer. You can use layers to help organize your artwork. Okay, let's grab the erase tool from the toolbar and wipe away the golf ball that's on our canvases. There's just a black striped outline left. Select the pencil tool and then tap on the color swatch on the top right to pick a new brush color. I'm going to pick green and draw my melon's outline. Then I'm going to use the fill tool to turn my melon outline into a colored shape. And I'm going to sketch in some lush watermelon stripes with the draw tool as well. If you haven't drawn your fruit yet, you can pause the video here and then start the video playing again once you're done working on it. You're done? Great. Now that you're done drawing, you can press the play button to use your new fruit ball in the scene. Pretty cool, right? Let's try one more thing. To add an entirely new kind of actor into the scene, you need to create a new blueprint from scratch. In order to do that, you'll just press the plus button on the left of the blueprint belt and select a blueprint type. Let's select Drawing to draw a new actor into the scene and put its blueprint into the belt. Then press Start Drawing. 
We can use this to add a signature to our content, or draw decorations, or add any other new actor we'd like to create. I'm going to sign my new golf deck with the word castle, and you can sign yours with your name if you want. And voila! We created a new blueprint and actor. Cool. Let's go over what we learned in this episode. We learned that actors are the primary building blocks of every card in Castle. We learned that the properties of every actor are determined by the blueprint that it's based on. We learned that we can edit blueprints with the Blueprint Inspector in order to change the properties and appearance of actors in the scene. And we learned how to edit the art of any blueprint using the art editor. With all of these new skills, you'll be able to make your own art decks from scratch and experiment with editing other users' content by remixing it. In the next lesson, we'll explore how we can control our actors to give them custom movement and behaviors, and even make them interactive so that we can bring our art to life exactly how we want to.